So uh, I'm back in my velocity particle scene. Um, I just wanted to show you another thing. So uh, this whole bit here is the bit that we are adjusting the uh, color based on velocity. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go Control G with them all selected, which makes a compound. Um, and I'm just going to go in and let's have a look at what we've got going on here. So because I've got multiple geometry connections, these are all fundamentally the same connection coming in. So I can just do this. Let's just do that, that one. That one's already had that one. Let's do that to that one. And then do, actually, let's do that to that one as well. And finally, let's just bring, if the um, node is out of the scene, out of the view, um, you can just do a thing where you can just click on this, and then it's got it, and you, you don't have to, and I'm not even pressing the mouse anymore, and then you can just mount, you know, shift along and do that. Um, and then we can delete these, because we don't need multiple inputs. I'm just going to call that in geometry, rename the port in, let's put it in geo. And then do output, rename port, adjusted color, or vel to color, something like that. I'll actually, no, I'm making, let's go out mesh, out geo. Which is basically what it said already. Um, so I've got that compound, I'm going to call it something, I'm going to call it JM class vel to color. And I'm just going to publish that, like so. Just hit publish, puts it into your compounds folder um, in the Autodesk folder. In your user account. Let's do that. So if I go back to my open recent file, adjusting particles after caching, it's just, uh, I'm not going to save that. So, um, do I think I need that output anymore? Um, so we're back here with this guy that we just rendered before, um, and I did some remove, which point. Um, I did a bit where I changed the size. So let's do my JM class vel to color. So we want the ingeo of this one. And we want that to be plugged into there. And we want to plug that one into there. And already it's a bit too much. Um, what I could have done is set this up to access it, but I'd sort of done that times wrongly. So I'm just doing a bit too much there. So not editable referenced. I need to go back out and I can go editable. Now I can go back in. So all this is set up already. I just need to do a, I'm just going to multiply my length, multiply. Put my length in there, add a value node. Let's cut that by a quarter and then do that and see what happens. There we go. Um, so that's adding that to it. Yeah, you happy with that? Yeah. So if I open this, we've got that old render. Let's just store that. And what I'll do is I'm not going to put it in the green. I'm going to put it in the red. So let's just connect you to you. You into there. You into there. There we go. And maybe 0.1 perhaps. So that's the old one. We see it's sort of pinky, but now I'm going to save that one. Yeah. 
So where the velocities are high, like where the particles are moving quickly, we're now, you can see, these are redder. And we can go back, oopsie, let's just lock that. Uh, let's actually, let's do, I'm going to do the blue. Oops, sorry, I'm still rendering. Sorry, let me stop this and making a bit of a mess of it. There we go. Uh, let's put that into the Z. Now hit play. So the higher velocities are now more purpley. Um, so I just thought I'd show you how, you know, once you've made these things, you don't have to rebuild them every single time. You can make them into compounds to reuse. Um, obviously this one isn't massively uh, user friendly, but you can make these all more friendly if you wanted to. So I could um, see where I'm doing this multiplier. I can drag that to the input like that. So now I don't have to go inside that anymore. I've got the value on the outside, so I can just uh, let's bring my render back up. So if I wanted to, uh, where are we? I'm sort of running out of space. Let's bring this over here. There we go. So with that selected, I can now just do that here. I could go like, I could go mad and go 1.5. And then hit play and see what happens. So all the higher velocities now. And actually, it's sort of cranking it up over everything because um, it's so high. Even the sort of low, low velocities are getting quite a lot. But you could do it like a point eight pounds. Um, <clears throat> so. This is really cool, this sort of post-cache fiddling around you can do. Um, yeah.